I want to talk about Moscow Mitch. Moscow Mitch says it's a hoax. How can Moscow Mitch uh, so, so willingly turn a blind eye? Moscow Mitch won't even let the Senate take a vote on it. Joe. That is un-American. He's Moscow Mitch. Well, that nickname apparently left a mark. Mitch McConnell today defended his name and reputation, took some big swings at his critics, and more importantly, defended his decision to block election security legislation. He complained the most recent bill was too partisan and said his position on Russia interference is being distorted. Every single member of the Senate agrees that Russian meddling was real and is real. We all agree that the federal government, state governments, and the private sector all have obligations to take this threat seriously and bolster our defenses. So here's what happened hours after Mueller warned that Russia undoubtedly will interfere in our 2020 election and is doing so right now as we speak. The Democrats tried to get the Senate to vote on bipartisan election security bills. Republicans blocked the measures. This afternoon, shortly after McConnell's angry remarks, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer responded. And it's Leader McConnell, who is the majority leader, who can determine what's put on the floor, and he has put nothing on the floor on elections. When last year we attempted in the appropriations bill to add more money to help the states harden their systems against cyber, secure, against cyber attack, Leader McConnell opposed it. He said it's not needed. So still with us are Jeremy Bash and Peter Baker. Jeremy, let's talk motive. What does Mitch McConnell possibly have to gain by holding up or destroying this kind of legislation? Well, I don't think he's a Russian asset, but I do think he's doing the bidding of the president. And it's strange, Brian, because, of course, a paper ballot doesn't favor a Democrat or a Republican. A rule that says that you have to call the FBI if a foreign adversary nation tries to peddle dirt on your opponent and contacts you in the middle of the election. That doesn't favor Democrats or Republicans. But clearly, Mitch McConnell believes that Donald Trump will be angry, will, will shed a tear, will get upset, will wag his finger or maybe tweet at Mitch McConnell if Mitch McConnell does anything to suggest that the threat against our election is real as it pertains to 2020. Peter Baker, what a new and strange feeling for patriotic Americans of a certain age. We know we are exposed and vulnerable. We've been told as much by the people we respect. And yet we witness our own country seemingly powerless uh, to do anything about it. Well, and, and not, not just powerless, but polarized. We don't even agree on what needs to be done. We don't even agree on, on the idea that we were attacked, in effect, and what the attack meant and what we should think of it and how important it was. I mean, it's really fascinating, of course, as you say, Brian, for any of us who grew up in the Cold War, to look at this moment and realize that it's, it's the Republican leader who's being accused of being soft on Russia and is firing back at his opponents for McCarthyism. That's that's quite a turnabout. But, I, you know, look, Mitch McConnell looked at this and said it's just a political game on the part of the Democrats, that they are all about embarrassing the president, that this is that the, by putting the legislation on the floor the day after Mueller, it was really more about making a point and making a statement about, uh, you know, putting the uh, president on the hook rather than uh, a serious effort at legislation, and he decided he would take one for the team, in effect, by blocking it. Uh, there is a cost to that. The cost is you're going to be accused of blocking something that uh, sounds reasonable to a lot of Americans. His point is we're already doing a lot of the things we ought to be doing. The administration is already doing things. Dan Coates, the aforementioned outgoing director of national intelligence, has put in place a top executive to, to focus on hardening defenses. But it puts him right in the center. And I think that Jeremy's point about uh, President Trump's reaction is part of it. I think that President Trump looks at this kind of legislation, this kind of effort by the Democrats as a way of delegitimizing him. A way of saying that his presidency is not legitimate because he wasn't elected uh, fairly and squarely. And so rather than focusing on what the Russians did or didn't do, it's looked at in that context. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.